All right. Good morning, geometry concepts. Hello. All right. Um. So for this one, um, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, if you could go grab a uh, piece of blank paper, if you could. Okay. Um, I just want to go over this stuff again real quick. All right. Now, now you don't have these these notes. Um, but if you get a blank piece of paper, just take notes longhand, um, jotting down things um, on it, maybe pausing this um, video and trying some on your own. So I just want to review this uh, 8.3, this is the trig, okay? Um, so not every triangle is a 45, 45, 90, or a 30, 60, 90, so remember those special triangles that we were looking at. Um, so we have to use these things called trig ratios. All right, and that's where the whole um, idea of trigonometry comes from. Um, and it does stand for triangles because this is a reference to triangle. Um, so this was the Sokotoa that we were talking about yesterday, or yesterday, last week. Um, and this is the setup, so sine, a sine of an angle, okay? So first of all, make sure that it's a right triangle, okay? So when you draw, you know, draw a triangle out, you know, put three trig ratios, soka, toa, and this is a right triangle. And remember, both of these are the legs. Okay, and then this is the hypotenuse. It's imperative that you remember that. Okay, the these are both legs, and that's the hypotenuse because when you look over here, every time there's an O. That stands for opposite. Every time there's an A, that stands for adjacent. Okay? And that's a reference to the legs. Okay? So if we're looking for the sign of something, we're going to look at the opposite leg over, over the hypotenuse, which is going to be directly across from the 90. Okay? Um, so the cosine of an angle is going to be a, one of the adjacent legs, so it's going to be one of the legs, because if we're talking about this angle, then this leg's adjacent, but if we're talking about this angle, then this leg's adjacent. So it really does depend what angle that we're discussing when we're looking at the Sokotoa um, ratios. And sine and cosine both deal with the hypotenuse, and if you notice, the hypotenuse is always the denominator, Okay. Now, the tangent of these two angles, we don't worry about the sine, cosine, or tangent of this. We don't worry about that. Okay, don't worry about that. We're only looking at the sine, cosine, and tangent of these two angles. Okay. Um, and so the tangent of one of these two angles is going to be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Okay. It's going to be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So when we look down here, you know, maybe if you're, if you're comfortable with it, try copying this down on your Piece, blank a piece of paper or on your note paper and see if you can get to the sine of t, cosine of t, and the tangent of t. So this is what it is right over here. Okay. So try to pause it and see if you can get those on your own. And I'm just looking for the fraction. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you paused it and tried it on your own. So if we're looking for the sine of t, that's going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite leg it's almost like, you know, this is the corner of the mouth. What is it eating? And it's eating the 8. That's our opposite. So it's going to be 8 over, 8 over the hypotenuse. And remember, the hypotenuse is always across from the 90. So it's going to be 8 over 17. Okay? For the next one, the cosine of T. So now cosine, if you remember, is AH adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of t is going to be the adjacent leg, which is 15. It's almost like the bottom, the bottom mouth of Pac-Man, if you will. Um, so this would be 15 over 17, just like that. And then the tangent of t, that's the one that doesn't use the hypotenuse at all. But the tangent of t says it's the opposite over adjacent, TOA opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be, t, tangent t is going to be the opposite, which is 8, over the adjacent, which is 15. Okay? And you have to remember that when you're looking at these, you know, every angle has can be represented by a ratio of two other sides, or 
okay? So when you're setting up these ratios, remember, angle, this could be like angle 30 equal, or the sine of 30 equals 8 over 17, perhaps, or something like that, okay? So I'm going to maybe pause it here and try these next ones on your own. Try the ones that are G on your own, okay? All right. If you didn't pause it, I'm just going to go through these real quick. So if we're looking for the sine of G, the sine is opposite over adjacent, or I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of J is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So this is going to be 15 over 17, okay? The cosine of G, the cosine of G, now that's going to be um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of G is adjacent, which is 8 over 17. Okay, and then the tangent of G, that's going to be opposite over adjacent, 8 over 15. Okay, now hopefully you're familiar with that. That was a little bit of a review of last, last week. Okay, now for this next one, this is why I wanted to start off new. All right, we're going to have to find W. Okay, so if you could, please copy down that triangle. I'm going to copy it on this blank piece of paper that I have. Okay, so it looks something like this, and I have a 90 degree here, and I know that this is 54 degrees, and I know this is 17, and then I know that this is my W. Okay, so that's the triangle that I'm looking at, I'm, I'm looking for W. So now going from this angle, going from this angle, we have to see what we have. So remember Sokotoa. Sokotoa, okay? So from this, what information is given to us? Okay, remember, these are both legs, and then this is the hypotenuse. So I'm looking at this, this is the opposite leg, All right? And then we're given the hypotenuse. So which one goes with the opposite and the hypotenuse? You know, which one, go, which, which one of these trig functions goes with it? I know it's going to be sine. Okay, so I know the sine of 54, of 54, equals opposite W over 17. Okay, so that's how I set up my, my algebra. Okay, and then from there, it, it is just simple algebra. We have to get that, sev or that W by itself. So in order for us to get that by itself, we would have to, there it is, one minute. We're going to have to multi or multiply both sides by 17. Because when we multiply by 17, it cancels that out. So we can just multiply that by 17. All right, now when we do that, we're going to get 17 times the sine of 54. And if you need a scientific calculator, you can go Google scientific calculator and one will come up for you. So I have 17 times the sine of 54. And that's 13.8. Eight, let's say and that is my solution all right so we really have to look at it when we're looking at these triangles when we're looking at these triangles we really have to evaluate or look at what is given to us okay so you really have to conceptualize what it looks like all right so I'm gonna try another one I'm gonna, I'm gonna try another one here okay um, let's see, not that one. Um, hold on, let me get a piece of paper. All right, actually, I can just pull it down. Um, so on the next one, I'm going to have one that looks like this. There's my 90. And remember, trig functions only apply to right triangles. All right, so if I have something like that, Okay, I have 28 degrees, I know this is 1 or 1.0, 1 whatever, and then this is W. So if we have to find W, that means that we're going to have to evaluate what's given to us. So remember your Sokotoa, I would write it down again, write it down a million times, so then you can remember it. Okay, let me move this over a little bit. Alright, so now 
going from this angle, what's given to me? Okay, this is the hypotenuse. All right, this is opposite. And then this, this right here is adjacent. Okay, so just from this angle, this is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent, that's the opposite. So what's given to us are adjacent and our opposite. So what trig function goes with opposite and adjacent? That would be tangent. So then I know that the tangent of 28 equals the ratio of those two sides. The ratio of those two sides. And remember, it's going to be opposite over adjacent. So this is going to be 1 over W. Like that. Okay? Now we have to solve for that W. Now this one's a little bit different because it's in the denominator. All right? It's in the denominator. Um, or no, I guess that would be the same. Yeah, okay. We're going to multiply both sides by W. Like that. Okay, so then those cancel. Now we're left with 1. All right, now we're trying to get W by itself. So to get W by itself, let me rewrite this really quick. So I get W times the tangent of 28 equals 1. Right? Now I want to get W by itself. So I'm going to divide by the tangent of 28. And I have to divide this by the tangent of 28. Like that. So then these cancel. Right? So now I'm left with W equals 1 divided by the tangent of 28. And then you can put that in your scientific calculator. Tangent of 28. And I get 1.9 about. About 1.9. Like that. Okay? So once again, you have to evaluate what information is given to you when referencing this angle. Okay, now if we reference this angle over here, well then this would, this would have been the adjacent leg, right? And then this would have been the opposite. This still would have been the hypotenuse. Okay, so it really depends which one of these two angles you're looking at. And once again, we're not going to be looking at the 90 degree angle. So whenever we're dealing with trig functions, we're always going to be looking for these other two angles. Okay? And that's one of the reasons why we went over special triangles. So then, you know, if you could, if you do get a 60-30, um, you can finish it really quick. Okay. So I'm going to go through. Another, I'm going to get out another piece of paper. Okay. Um, so try this one on your own. Try this one on your own. I'm going to have a triangle like this. Okay. And then I know that this is 33, and this is my 4.5, and then this is my W. And there's my 90 degrees. That's 33 degrees. Okay? So try to solve that on your own. Please pause it and try it on your own. Okay? <clears throat> okay. So when referencing this angle, okay, that's the ones given to us, we still have to look at our Sokotoa. Okay? Sokotoa. Now when looking at this angle, What's given to us? Well, this is my adjacent leg, and this is the hypotenuse. So that's what we're looking for. So which one of these up here deals with the adjacent and the hypotenuse? That's going to be cosine. Okay. So then we do cosine of 33 degrees equals, equals adjacent over hypotenuse, or W over 4.5. Like that. So that's the setup. If you want to pause it now and just go over the, make sure you know the algebra, go ahead. While I look for my red pen, which I don't know where it went. Oh, well. Um, no red pen. Oh, there it is. Whew. Okay. So if we want to get W by itself, we're just going to multiply both sides by 4.5. 4.5. Just like that. Okay. And when we do that, we get 4.5 times cosine of 30. We get 3.9. About is what W is. Okay? So just like that. Okay? So a few, uh, let's go over a couple practice ones. I just want to practice having us do this. So if you could, please copy this. And try these one on try these on your own. 
try these ones on your own. Okay? All right. So for the first one, if I have x over 20, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 20. Multiply both sides by 20. And you can use a scientific. So I get 20 times the tangent of 34. And that's about 13.5 equals my x. So you should have for that one. Now for this next one, this one's a little bit trickier because the x is in the denominator. So we have to mul first we have to multiply both sides by x. Okay. Then we have to divide by the tangent of 2. Those cancel. So I get 4 divided by the tangent of 2. And when you do that, when those cancel, so I get 4 divided by the tangent of 2. And it's about 114.5. Right, and so this means at a two degree angle that the two legs that are forming it are going to have a ratio of 114.5, okay? And for the last one, okay, for this last one here, let's see if I can move this over, Just bear with me. Mm. All right, so if we're looking at this one, we want to figure out what that angle is in there. Um, let's just skip this for right now. Let's, let's skip that, don't worry about that one. I just moved this over for nothing, but whatever. Okay? Okay, what is the measure of x to the nearest degree? Uh, all right. I'm going to hold off on this. I'll go over how to do this um, tomorrow during our Zoom meeting. Um, but for right now, for right now, um, let's see. Hold on a minute. I'm going to find your assignment alone. All right, so your homework is, you've gotten this thing that says getting tricky with it. Complete it. Complete all of it. You should be able to do all of it. Now on the back, you might have to use Pythagorean's theorem because it says find all the missing sides. So when you have this, I want to go through 16 with you really quick to give you an example. Um, for this one, it doesn't matter which one you start at, which leg, just recognize what trig function goes with it. So right here, if I'm given sine of 50, I'm given the, the opposite. I'm going to look for my hypotenuse. Okay. So what deals with opposite? First of all, let me write it up here. So, go, to, uh. All right. So the sine of 50 is opposite over the hypotenuse. So I know the sine of 50 equals 21 over x. Like that. Okay, now I got to get the x by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x, and then divide by the sine of 50. <clears throat> so when I do that, I get the sine of 50 equals, whoops, or I'm sorry, 21 over the sine of 50 equals x, because we have to divide both sides by the sine of 50 after these cancel. Like that. So 21 divided by the sine of 50 is 27.4. So I know the hypotenuse is 27.4. All right. Um, and then for the next one, so now if I know this is 27.4, I can go with the adjacent leg. I can go with the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. Now that's going to be cosine. Okay, so let me go through that. So the cosine of 50 equals adjacent, which is y, over the hypotenuse, which is 27.4. Like that. Alright, now I want to get that y by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 27.4. Like that. And 27.4 times cosine of 50 it is about 17.6. Like that, okay. So rewatch the video. Um, so try try to do all these, and that, and then tomorrow during our Zoom meeting, um, I will take questions on this. We can go through more examples, things like that. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. And our Zoom meeting is scheduled for tomorrow.
at 9.30. Alright, so make sure to be there. See you tomorrow.